Welcome back to another Tuner Studio Mega Squirt Basics video. Today, I want to show you a quick trick on how to change the default gauges in the background so that you can make custom gauges the way you want them and make them usable for you. The biggest issue I have is a lot of these gauges, when you first start the car and run it, are somewhat helpful, but once you get driving it and uh, needing to tune it in other ways, not all of these are helpful. For example, like pulse widths, pulse widths, ignition advance, fuel load, loss sink counter, things like this. So let's jump right into it. Uh, this can be a little bit confusing and uh, I wanna make it easier for everyone to be able to do this. So the first thing you need to do is right click just in this gauge area and you can go down to this designer mode. So you click that and it enables design mode. So what this allows you to do is move around these gauges. So you can grab them, drag them around, and you can drag and drop, change the size of them, or you can just remove them altogether um, and or change them. So what I want to show you how to do is, this is one that I commonly set up when I'm tuning a turbocharged car is I set up a boost gauge uh, that you can see a little bit bigger and what's nice about these gauges is they will always leave a shadow where your max value is so if you go and you hit boost and then you look back without going through a whole data log you can just look over at the laptop and see where that value is so let me show you kind of how I go about doing that so first of all you can uh, come in here and if you want you can just remove the gauge. If you go into this dashboard designer, you can remove from dash, you can just delete that, or you can click new and add a gauge. So you can go back, dashboard designer, new, add gauge, and you have these gauges to choose from. You have some digital ones you can mess with, or uh, you can just use some of the classics. You just use this dark mode classic, and go ahead and just hit done. Now you can drag this around and make it as large or as small as you want. Sometimes if you're just cruising around, you're going to want a larger gauge that you can spot pretty easily. And uh, we can even actually just delete that. Say on your dashboard, you just want to be able to see what boost is. Let's just make it nice and big over here. So what you can do now is just while you're still in designer mode, you haven't changed anything, right click and then hit dashboard designer. And if you go over to properties dialog, now you'll get the properties of this gauge. This will show you the, the position left and right in this grid on the background, and this will show you the height and width uh, that you can change manually here. I just like to drag it around as much as I can. Um, just by hand like this, you're, you can drag it and uh, change those properties as well. Um, the output channel is what you want to see on the gauge and there's a lot to choose from but what we're going to choose today to give you a good example is boost in gauge pressure so we'll go down to boost they have boost in bars boost duty boost and vac but we're going to do boost psi gauge and go ahead and you can change the font size if you want and you could make it italic if you're feeling that change the title so you could say boost and then units PSI gauge and how many digits precision how much precision you want and then you can set the current value we'll just set the current value to zero that'll be where the gauge starts and then minimum value let's leave it at zero maximum value we're gonna say maybe we only want to make 18 pounds of boost so we can make a gauge that gives you 20 PSI of range. And then low critical, since in boost you're usually not worried about low, we're just gonna hit zero on that. And the low warning, these are just these orange and yellow striped areas on the gauge to give you a warning of where you're at on the gauge. We're just gonna hit zero. And we're only gonna worry about the high points. So on the high warning, let's say we had like nine, uh, 18 PSI, and on the high critical, we're gonna say 19. 
So just down here at the very end, say you're trying to target 16, 17, and you're getting into the 18 to 20 pound range with boost creep or something, this would kind of let you know. And uh, these gauges, when, you, when you're using them in the car, as you go into boost, it will leave a shadow on your highest boost peak. So even if you're data logging, you don't have to go back through a data log real quick. Just while you're driving, you can see that historical peak. Uh, you can change the border size, push this all the way out if you want, and you can change the face angle of this or make it translucent completely. And uh, you can change the start angles of where the needle starts, spin it around, make it look cool like a Ferrari or Porsche gauges or something like that. We'll just make it at the bottom down here just for fun. And then you can change your sweep angle to how much sweep you get out of it. So pretty neat, just a few things you can do. And then when you're done, just go ahead and hit close. And then you're gonna wanna right click the background again and go down to designer mode and unclick it. And there you go. Now, as long as you save, once you exit, you'll have this boost gauge as your background uh, from here on out. So. If you found this helpful, uh, please consider subscribing or becoming a member, and uh, I wish you the best of luck on your future projects with Tuner Studio. Thanks.